All right, uh, welcome back to another episode of The Art of Good Government, uh, trying to communicate well with, uh, with our community, with our staff, with our constituents. Uh, today is Friday the 28th of August, and it's about 9.15 in the morning. So uh, again, welcome back, welcome back, Chief. I'm glad you're back at home. Thank you, uh, good to be home. Yeah, I, I bet. Um, you know, I, I just, I wanted to go through a couple of uh, areas of thanks before we jump into a little bit of an update on the council meeting next week. I wanted to thank the executive team. Um, the executive team, uh, I told them last Friday night that there was no drinking over the weekend, so everybody could be prepared uh, if, if need be to work on in the EOC in the case in, in case the uh, the fire in Carmel Valley um, threatened the village, which which it didn't, of course. So I just wanted to thank the executive team for stepping right up, uh, being prepared. We had we lit up the EOC. Uh, it was going to be coordinated by Monterey County. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob Harari, thank you so much, and uh, the staff in in Public Works were poised and ready to come in um, if if needed. Of course, the PD. And, and Monterey Fire was as well. So um, just wanted to thank again, the executive team, the police department, uh, the communication I think was really good last week as well. Chief Tomasi and Maxine and I were on a series of, of Zoom calls with again, again county and uh, uh, US uh, Forest Service EOS calls all weekend, uh, monitoring the fire, monitoring the uh, the storm event that, that came in on Sunday. So I, again, I think there was great collaboration and communication. And then uh, some of our other partners uh, stepped right in. Um, Visit Carmel and the Carmel by the Sea Chamber of Commerce also parroted the messages uh, to their constituents as well. There was no marketing being done um, last week. Uh, the Visit Carmel and the MCCVB, their message was, yes, we're open, but this may not be the best time to visit right. uh, because, because of the fires. And so again, um, thank, thanks to those groups for, uh, for their work. And last but certainly not least were the innkeepers of the village. They stepped right up last week and they housed evacuees. And I think that that, again, showed just an incredible amount of collaboration and compassion. And I, I want to express uh, our thanks mm -hmm. to the innkeepers uh, who offered um, housing for, for people that were displaced from the, from the fires. Um, next week, we've got a, a very big city council meeting. Uh, the council will review the beach closure, the proposed beach closure for Labor Day weekend. And, and Chief, you'll talk about that briefly. That'll be on the council agenda for their decision. We're gonna talk about refinancing the Sunset Bond. That's a $5 million bond that uh, interest rates are, uh, are at a good place. And the call date uh, to redeem those bonds is November 1st. So we've got some action to take next week. Uh, we'll have an update on ambulance operations. And then we'll also have a budget update. So we'll talk about how we closed last fiscal year. As you can imagine, it wasn't good. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll continue as we promised, as I promised, to keep the council very close and, and, and very apprised on how we're doing economically, which again is not so great right now. So that's what I have, Chief, what do you have? Thanks, Chip. Well, I think I just want to piggyback you a little bit on the fire messaging. I think we did a really good job of being showing that we were prepared and we were ready. And the communication we had with the county, the state, and other agencies on our peninsula was really impressive. I, the meetings we had, yep. the collaboration, the messaging, um, it really showed that we were ready to handle a situation like that. It tested our ability and uh, it, it actually worked on a couple things. A couple things that we've always been a little bit concerned about is how well can we get our messaging out? Mm -hmm. We pushed alertmontereycounty.org and also our evacuation route, which as you know, over the last two years is something that we've discussed extensively. Yep. And it's been a committee that I've been on for the last year and a half is developing adequate evacuation routes out of the peninsula. And it put that to test. Yep. And uh, we worked with CHP, Caltrans, and all the other agencies from here all the way out to Highway 101 up by Castroville mm -hmm. to ensure that we had a plan evacuation ready to go. Uh, I, I was really impressed with the, the level of cooperation between agencies and the coordination of this in planning. So really we know what ended up is nothing happened, which is good, and the weather's changed, which has helped quite a bit. 
So it ended up being like a tabletop exercise for yeah. us. And I think it was very successful. So it was a good training exercise for all of us. In, in the middle, you know, in the middle of, of COVID-19, we were faced with this. And gosh, I wish we had had the level of coordination. Uh, I know COVID's a lot more dynamic, maybe that not more dynamic than a wildfire, but the, the coordination on this one, I, I totally hear you, Chief, and it was uh, very well orchestrated and played out. So um, thank you for your leadership on that. Thank you. Um, again, you, you mentioned beach closures. Um, we are looking at a beach closure for Labor Day weekend. Uh, our, our hope is to get it approved. You know, at council, they'll be reviewing it. Mm -hmm. It'll be Friday through Monday. Yep. And we're discussing uh, potentially closing the Del Mar parking area as well. Just the same as we did for Fourth of July, which really helped us with uh, control of the crowds. And, and part of the reason we're doing this, again, we have to remember that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yep. Uh, our job is to protect the community, and that's why we're going to close it. Uh, we're finding on these holiday weekends that the crowds are great. People aren't social distancing, and the risk to people is, you know, still great. It's a mm -hmm. pandemic. Um, in light of that, last week during a physical arrest of a subject, uh, three of my officers um, had to be quarantined. We had to put them in hotels uh, until they were tested. They ended up spending a week in a hotel. Uh, I am happy to report yesterday we were notif noticed that all three came back negative and they're back to work. So um, again, yeah, somebody we arrested was positive for COVID-19. Even though we're wearing protective gear, uh, we still have to take precautions and uh, happy to announce that they're all negative yeah, and back great, at work. Great to hear. So. It's great to hear. We're, we're, we're thinking about them and their families in the last week. So yeah. thank you for for the update. That's good news on a Friday. Yeah, continued challenges. Yeah, and we will have we will have the changeable message signs provided the council approves our recommendation on the beach closure. We will have changeable message signs uh, on Ocean and on Carpenter as people enter the village to alert them to the fact that the uh, the beach uh, will be closed or or is closed uh, again uh, depending on the council direction. So we'll get yeah. the we'll get the message out. So. Well, thank you again for what you do. Welcome home. Thanks. Thank you. And hopefully all the other employees, and I think they are yeah, back home as they open up the uh, evacuated areas and let people back home. So. Yeah, we had close to a dozen employees who were displaced because of the fires. Yeah. So, Well, great. Thank you again, Chief. And uh, have a good weekend, everyone. And uh, take good care. Take care.